see you. Great to see you guys. What's it feel like being back and you, you feel like yourself yet? I mean, I'm just blessed to be here. I mean, I literally, I haven't put on pads or I haven't put on a helmet since October because, I mean, I had my injury with my knee. So once I have the injury on my shoulder and then to my knee, I haven't been able to put on a helmet till today. So um, I'm just blessed to get another chance to be out here with the guys. It's been tough just seeing everybody working and I've been around the whole time. So it's just a blessing to finally get a chance to work with them and be around the guys. How did you feel? Um, like I said, I mean, I'm just happy to be here. You know, I mean, it's been a long time coming for me to get a chance to come out here and play again and really get a chance to go out there and do what I can do and show what I can and show what I can become. So. You know, I'm a little gas, but it's going to come with more reps, more opportunities, more chances for me to keep working and keep grinding, getting better. Can you say it again? What happened with the knee? Uh, with the knee? Um, I had a knee scope. How soon like you heal from the shoulder? How soon? Um, I was actually ready to go during spring ball. Like I was there um, at the beginning of spring ball. We healed uh, Mike and um, Todd. They had an amazing job taking care of my knee, uh, taking care of my shoulder. Um, getting me ready for me to go and get ready to play. So, I mean, I was ready to go during spring. I was getting reps in, doing things, and then, you know, it was just unfortunate right when you guys were about to come out, um, I hurt my knee, so. How much you feel like there's a spot there to be won and you think you have enough time to kind of get yourself feeling right in the position to win it? I mean, it's a whole new coaching staff. There's new coaching staff, new players. So there's always, every single year in the NFL is always a chance to try to win and try to compete. That's never been a thing. There's nothing guaranteed in the NFL. So um, it's just a great opportunity. And I'm blessed to get this opportunity for me to be here, for me to compete for a starting job, for me to compete and help the guys. But at the end of the day, like I told y'all, my first time here when I was a rookie, my only goal is to help the team win, however that, however that is. What's it been like playing under, what's it been like playing under uh, Bill and what has he been saying to you as you've been working to get back? I mean, it's awesome to get a chance to learn from him and playing under him. I mean, he knows so much. Um, he's been a coach since I think like 2001. So like, it's amazing to get, be able to get a chance to pick out his brain, to learn things from him. He always has an answer. He always finds a way to challenge me, to get me better and to really try to bring out the best in me. You seem more like vibrant and your personality is coming out more. Is that just because how much you miss the game, a, a change of environment, like the surrounding, what is it? I mean, I miss you guys. <laughs> That's one. But um, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, I've been getting comfortable. That's something that I kind of told uh, teams when they were uh, looking at me uh, during draft process that like once I get into a rhythm and I really am part of the team and I get a chance to get comfortable and get to know the guys and feel like, you know, this is my home. This is somewhere where I want to be like my personality changes and I just grow way more into the team. And I really believe in the things that we are doing here. I believe in the guys that I've been around and from the coaching staff all the way down to the trainers, to the janitors, like every single person I met here has been top notch. I'm blessed to be here and I'm, and I have, a, and it's an amazing opportunity. What about Bill Callahan working with him and especially old man Bertha back there? I mean, yeah, like finally got a chance to hit Bertha. I was able to hit that on an off day just to make sure I was ready for it. But, um, but no, working with Bill is, it's a blessing, you know, it's an awesome opportunity uh, to get a coach like that for me to learn under, for him to have the experiences that he had, the players that he's coached, like from, for sure, first ballot Hall of Famers to him having amazing offensive lines, to him also being a head coach. He's seen every avenue in terms of being a coach and developing players, so I'm just ready to be a part of that process. What needs to be different about your game for him and what he needs to do? It's all about uh, working your hands. Um, it's about making sure you play with a great base. Um, we are, we're going to be fast off the ball. We're going to be physical. We're going to be tough. Um, those are the t key tenets that he talks about. He doesn't talk about hand placement and things like that. So those are the things that we work on at a day-to-day -day basis. And those are the things that I've been grinding at, trying to learn and trying to do. And then also the technical side and mental side of football, being able to understand plays, understanding the playbook in and out, and then understand the opponents we're going up against. When did that feel come behind, behind, given how, how long you've been out? Do you feel like you're swimming upstream right now? I just I just want to be back, you know, so I've been I've been fighting with the training staff day in and day out just saying how much I want to be back. And then when I got back with the shoulder, they were they were more glad that I was back because I didn't have to be on their on their like necks every single day saying, like, can I come back yet? Can I come back yet? But then with the knee, they were like, all right, it's round two with Nick trying to push himself getting back. But they did an amazing job um, to get me healthy, to get me ready to compete. Um, you know, it's camp. So. There's a lot more days for me to grind, for me to compete, for me to get better. 
And I don't think anyone's at where we want to be at. There's a lot more that we have to do, not only individually, but as a team. So those are going to be the days. These are the days that I have to keep building, keep getting better, keep actually seeing myself on film, see what I can do to get better and find ways to help the team win. You, got a week. you feel like you can uh, be ready for the preseason opener? I mean, yeah, I'm here. I mean, I got cleared off a of pup. So um, I'm going to keep grinding, keep working, and whatever the training staff says I can do and whatever the coaching staff says I'm able for me to do and how healthy I am, they're going to evaluate me and make sure that I'm ready to be on the field and compete. As you look back at last year, I wonder, is there anything you can pull from that game from that, what you went through, or are you just on the other hand just try to write it off? From the Pittsburgh game? No, from, from last season in general. Um, it's just a blessing. Uh, how, how much of it is a blessing to be here in the NFL? to get opportunities to play, um, the attachment I had with my teammates. Um, I've been through a lot. I've been through a suspension where I wasn't here. Um, and then I had to find a way to get back and earn a starting job. And then I found a way to do that. And then I went through a shoulder injury. So then I had to go and recover through that. And then I finally got a chance to come back. And then I went through a knee thing where I wasn't able to do things in spring, right when I felt like I hit that threshold of, all right, I'm back, I'm ready to go. So um, the things that I take from that is work every day as if it's your last never take anything for granted and enjoy the people you're around. You mentioned the uh, suspension and having to come back and earn that starting job. Now you've missed all this time, you come back into training camp with an opportunity to do the same thing. Do you feel like that experience has equipped you mentally for the battle in training camp to go and earn that job? Well, I've done it twice. So, you know, why not a third time? Uh, but I mean, it's just the NFL. I mean, that's, it's always been a competition. I mean, from, when I was playing Little League football to now, everything about football is about competing and getting better. You're not going to have players, especially in NFL, that aren't ready to compete, that aren't ready to earn a starting job. Um, it's the most competitive league in all the sport. And I knew that coming in here. So that's been my that's been my mindset every single day. That's why every single time. That's why when I told people when I first came into the NFL, I said my only goal is to help the team win because I understand the competition is already built in. I understand. The great players are already built in, and it's up to me to find a way to become a great player, for me to grind, for me to show the team that I care about them, I care about making sure that we win, making sure that we find a way to become a better team and get get ourselves to a Super Bowl. How valuable has that experience, like you said, like you said, being competing for that first job and earning it, been the attachment that time off? How valuable has that helped you become a leader for the team? I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I had a lot of time for me to work through um, mental prep and getting through the playbook and understanding things. So um, there's been some rookies that came to me that asked me about some of the plays and stuff and how, what have I learned and what I've seen. Um, so I, I kind of got on both sides of being able to learn and see the things that we're doing. That's great. Learn to see the things that we can improve on. But then also a lot of countless hours of in the playbook, studying, um, understanding different calls, different protections and things like that. What did you what did you learn about yourself having to go through all that adversity between the suspension and the injuries and getting back and then the injury again? Just how resilient I can be. You know, that's something that we talked about here. That's one of our key tenets about this new team is about resiliency and being able to be resilient um, through adversity. And there's been a lot of adversity I faced. So um, it just kind of shows the type of place this is that's been able to get me to where I am today, for me to be as resilient as I am today, but then also the guy that they got is that I'm a type of person that's gonna fight every single day to get to where I can get to. And wherever the chips may fall, you're just gonna know that whatever happens at the end of the day, I would have done my best, I would have tried my hardest, and my only goal every single time I played any sport, any, t any team activity, whatever, is to compete to try to find a way to win and for me to help the team win in any way possible. Different from a, from a size, strength standpoint? Um, yeah, I'm a little heavier and I'm a little stronger. I mean, this strength staff here is amazing. Zach's done an amazing job. Um, I've been working with B-Bell on the side as well, working on my conditioning to make sure I'm ready for me to be out there on the field. But then Zach, I love uh, getting a chance to work with Zach here. He's done a really great job with me in the off season when I first came in. I made sure to contact him right when he got the job. When I was in Tampa and I was training, I wanted to make sure I got on his regimen, I got on his plan as fast as I could. Thank you guys. What's up? How do you think the been very noticeable here at the start of camp? How do you feel like it's gone for you so far? Uh, I feel like it's going good. Um, 
just a, a building process. You know, every day I'm trying to come out here and get better at something um, and just continue to, you know, get better with the defense. Um, and so, yeah, every day I feel like I'm taking a step um, and just trying to come out here and just be the best version of myself. You are talking about being able to empower you in the defense when we talked to him yesterday. How much have you felt that and how much have you seen the dividends of that already? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, Coach Chenard is a tremendous leader uh, of, of men. You know, he definitely knows, you know, how to empower his players. Um, you know, he's definitely um, done that with me. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm extremely grateful for that. Um, and, you know, I, I take it, you know, it means a lot to me. And so, you know, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, go out there and be the best version of myself, you know, for him and for everybody on his defense. So. He wants to give you the green light. Is that something you've had in defense before? Or is that something kind of new with the Titans for you? Uh, I mean, I kind of know what he means. Like, you know, he, he just wants me to go out there and just cut it loose and not, not really worried about, you know, making mistakes and, you know, worrying about, you know, different things like that. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's really just allowing me to be able to just whatever I see, believe what I see and just go. Because a lot of times, you know, I, I've made plays in the, in the past off of, off of you know, instincts and, and things that I, I've seen pre-snap. And then I've also, you know, missed plays or, or may, may have not, may, may have made a tackle, but could have been a TFL based off of just, you know, just fully just trusting myself. And so I feel like, you know, him being able to empower me with that, you know, I, I study so much and, and put so much into it. You just want to go out there and just trust what I put in. How much different is that from what you were asked to do in the past? Like, do you feel like you have a lot more freedom now? Uh, I, I just think scheme-wise, the defense is, is, is just different compared to what I was asked to do in the past. Um, you know, in the past, it was more so like a, a, a stack and track um, fall back type of deal, and we and we weren't really based out of a lot of, of pressure. And so, um, I feel like you know, this Denar scheme, you know, he wants to be aggressive, um, blitz the backers a lot, um, come downhill. And so, I think it's just it's just a, a different type of scheme. Is that exciting to you? Do you feel like that that plays to your skill set more? Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, me me coming downhill, blitzing, um, getting on backs, getting off the edge, um, um, you know, being in the middle, flying around. You know, I think that's that's what tailors to me. And so. Um, for me, I'm just focused on just being aggressive in everything I do. You talked about yeah, uh, JG man, that's that's my guy, man. He's extremely smart. Um, you know, he's a guy that that you know me and him are always leaning on each other, talking back and forth. Um, you know, let me know what he sees. I'm letting him know what 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 I see. Um, and you know, it's just it's just that's what the relationship is going to be like for us all year. And so, um, you know, we've been building that through our OTAs. We've been building that through our training camp. And so. I'm looking forward to playing next to him. Um, I think he's a tremendous football player. He's been known as an aggressive downhill type of tackler against the run. What are some of the things that they're trying to do to free you up to help you help out in the pass coverage? Uh, just just cleaning up my feet a little bit, um, uh, and then also just pre-snap, um, being able being able to recognize you know what what I may get based off of formation and stuff like that. And so um, I think you know that's. That's something that I, I've been working um, extremely hard on. It's just the, the anticipation part of the game, you know, being able to anticipate a little bit more uh, in the pass game and in, in the run game and being able to just go out there and see see what I see based off of the formation, have a couple things in mind, and then be able to play from there. Okay. Appreciate, uh, appreciate you, man. Thanks. Your, your, your wedding, how was everything with that? So some of the pictures. Of... Yeah. Uh, I mean, it was my wedding. I mean, how you expect my wedding to be? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, any standout moments or... Yeah, I mean, I mean, I married the love of my life. Um, been with her going on seven years now. And so, uh, yeah, it was extremely small. We probably had like 20, 20, 22 people there. Um, but yeah, it's, it was probably one of the best days of my life, for sure. It's the first time you've been in a number other than nine since how long? Uh, since 2020, I was drafted um, in 2020 and I wore 56 because that's that was before the linebackers could wear a single digit. So uh, it's been a couple of years, but very familiar, very familiar with the number, so that's why I picked it. How do you like being back in 56 again? Oh, I, I like it. Uh, I think it fits me. Um, you know, obviously, I was, I was drafting in that number, and so being able to to get back to to, to that number, you know, it, it's definitely a number that has some meaning to me. The number nine on the walls here in the building here, what do we think about McNair? Oh, uh, man, he was a tremendous player. Um, you know, really, really hate what, what happened to him. Um, but, you know, the way he played the game, um, you know, he definitely – is deserving of the honor of having his, his jersey number retired. So uh, definitely a guy that, that in this organization is one of the GOATs. Thank you, appreciate it. Appreciate it, man. Thanks. Thanks.